Welcome to Shabbat Shoutout. The highlight of this week's Torah portion in Yisro is the giving of the Asiris Adibros, often translated as the Ten Commandments. The reading of the Ten Commandments, wow, could there have been a greater moment in Jewish history than that? This is one case where we can say with a certainty that the book is better than the movie. When we return the Sefer Torah, the Torah scroll, to the Ark on Shabbos, we sing a verse from the Book of Proverbs. Eitz chaim hi l'machazikin ba. Eitz chaim, it's a tree of life, l'machazikin ba, to those who grasp it. What does it mean to grasp the Torah? The story is told about Ulysses, the Greek hero who had heard about a harbor where there was the music of the sirens. This music was so attractive, so irresistible, that anybody who went to the harbor was drawn toward the shore where the music was played. There were sharp reefs there, so the ships that were attracted to the reefs were destroyed. Other ships went by the harbor and they saw the wreckage, but they still couldn't resist listening to the music. Ulysses wanted to hear the music, but he was smart enough to know that he didn't want to lose his life in the process. So what could he do? He told his sailors to stuff wax in their ears so that they wouldn't be able to hear the music. Then he told his sailors, tie me with strong ropes to the mast of the ship. and No matter what you see me do, ignore me. Keep on rowing straight. And they did exactly that, rowing straight past the harbor where there was the music of the sirens. But as soon as Ulysses heard the captivating music, he started screaming, head towards the shore, but the sailors couldn't hear him. He struggled against the ropes and yelled, I'm your captain, you have to listen to me. Head towards the shore, but they ignored his words because they couldn't hear him. Later, after they passed the dangerous area, Ulysses calmed down and he recognized how close he had been to disaster. It was only because he was tied by the ropes that he was spared. We're living in a world where the music of the sirens is everywhere. How are we supposed to know if what we hear and what we see is real? How can we resist the music of the sirens? The Torah is a tree of life but only to those who grasp it, cling to it. Ulysses tied himself to the masts of the ship with the ropes. We have to take the Torah and hold on for dear life. In Parsha Shisro, Hashem gives us the Torah. Hold on to it, cling to it, hold on to its character traits and its values. And if we cling to the Torah as tight as we can, then it'll be a tree of life. Good shots.